has been officially 58 vlogs. This is the 58th since I made the sort of crazy declaration that I was going to be posting one vlog per day and I didn't even I didn't do it I didn't even come close to it and although I failed in posting one vlog per day I learned a lot of things from the attempt in fact I have 50 lessons that I learned in whoa that should be better 50 lessons that I learned in 50 vlogs um, each lesson is right here with a timestamp the the specific video and where that lesson was. My gosh, it is windy out here. Um, I'm using the uh, noise reduction feature on my Sony A6000. It has a couple of microphones here. I think just two as far as I know. So the noise reduction might not be great, but hopefully the lens is big enough to block some of that wind. So I had a list of 50 things I learned in 50 vlogs. I put it all together on one video and that video was over 20 minutes long. And when I hit the export button, it crashed my editor to the point that I thought I might have done permanent damage to my laptop because of how hot it got. Luckily, I don't think that was the case. It's still up and running, so I think we're good on that. So instead of putting 50 lessons on one single gigantic video. I'd like to give each lesson that I learned its deserved attention. And I want to do that by sprinkling each lesson across my all of my future vlogs. But I do want to start out with lesson number one that I learned shooting these vlogs. Alright, we're gonna have to find a different spot guys. Okay, so the number one lesson that I learned while vlogging is that multitasking is everything. The process of putting a vlog together is extremely time consuming and that is the main reason that I was unsuccessful in posting every day. It'll usually take me anywhere from three to five hours to edit a vlog. This does not include the one to three hours that it takes to import my videos export the final product, and then post them to Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So if it takes me two hours to shoot my vlog, then that means it is a six to 10 hour process from start to finish to put together the video that you're seeing in front of you right now. Uh, oh, I thought I stepped in dog poop. Just water. Six to 10 hours, that is a huge chunk of the day. So one method that I've come up with to cut it down a little bit is the 30 minute time lapse routine. Let me explain. Look at that guy. He doesn't think I can see him. Actually, judging by his eyes, I would say that he did think that I could see him. So, I'm just doing a late night video edit right now and am realizing that I somehow have lost the footage for camera number one that I was gonna mention in this uh, 30 minute routine. For camera number one, you want your best shooting camera. And for me, it's the Sony a6000. It takes the best picture that, of any camera that I have. So I'll usually set that camera and lock it off on a tripod for a 30 minute long time lapse. And usually just in a wider view to get the whole scene. Camera number two is gonna be the camera that you have that has the longest zoom. It doesn't take the best picture by any means, but the zoom is amazing. So with this one, I will take two to three time lapses. So I'll take that 30 minute span and chop it into two to three time lapses, usually with a narrow field of view, making the most of the zoom and, and creating a good variety of time lapses. And the final camera, camera number three, will be my drone. I use my cell phone as the remote. On days like today, where it would be too windy to fly the drone, I, I'm not gonna fly it, it's too windy. I'll just take my cell phone and roam around for that 30 minute span and just take video of anything that is unique to the area that I'm in. And that is my 30 minute time lapse routine. Very simple, but within that 30 minute routine, you're gonna get one long, nice looking time lapse. Um, 
a few zoomed in time lapses and then just a, a huge variety of either aerial shots or just shots with your cell phone of unique points of view and with all of those shots that you took within those 30 minutes you'll have enough establishing shots to start your vlog for any transitions within your vlog to finish off your vlog in just 30 minutes you'll have more than enough shots for that thank you guys for listening to my 30 minute method and i want to just close out vlog number 58 now with what it actually looks like for that 30 minute method and here's to 57 more vlogs, hopefully faster than the first 57. See you guys later.